Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Pico brand lantern. I did not know this company too well until I saw them at the Shot Show 2013. And uh, the saleswoman there did a pretty good job by dropping the small lantern on the, on the floor a couple times and show how how robust it is and how how well protected with the with the rubber on top and on the bottom so that that did uh, catch pretty good attention and i ended up with a uh, buy one of the small ones the the bigger one a friend from me did buy so i could review those as well First we want to have a look quick on the paperwork. I did pick up one of their catalogs. So we see the bigger one, the 30 day lantern. About the, the feature they, they uh, have. It's a LED of course, up to 300 lumens for mode, electronic switch. High, medium, low and SOS flashing. It even has a, a battery, uh, how should I say, uh, uh, a flashing uh, thing. We're gonna show that uh, a bit later that, that shows you the, the different bright levels. And uh, the, the green uh, indicator that flashes so, so you see where the the lantern is uh, located in the dark. Of course, it's pretty a uh, durable build and uh, watertight and all that. So, so you see the different features that is on the on the 300 lumen 30 day lantern. Uh, basically, it uses three D cells comes in different colors silver orange we have the, the silver one on this on this uh, test the one here I did not get I just got the smaller ones that we see on top they make it in a uh, different colors as well I picked out the orange one and Brand new, unfortunately not, not available at the show, was the glow-in-the-dark version. That uh, quite likely is the next one I'm gonna, gonna uh, buy and uh, test out. That has the smaller version uses four AA batteries. I use uh, rechargeables on my one. That works pretty well. On high we have 160 lumens, on low 10 lumens and uh, yeah it's a uh, drop resistant and uh, watertight on top we see the different features I'm gonna point that out then they uh, make another different light this one I did not get that one for a uh, for test out that much about the catalog one thing I have to point out is the US address. It's in Jacksonville, Florida and also the, the website and the email of them. I don't know how long they are in business right now uh, but, but it makes pretty good impression so that's why I wanna show the products on my YouTube channel. I did not see too much on YouTube. First about the, the small Latin here we have the manual that comes with it, how to use it. I'm gonna show that in a minute, one to one. A bit uh, tricky is the, the battery change. There the two arrows really needs to be uh, pointed towards each other so that it works. And uh, of course that is LED. 
no uh, bulb that can break that's the packaging how it comes it has a limited lifetime warranty nice uh, packaging and here again we see uh, the the level of brightnesses and the, the what battery it uses and all that and the manual how to use that's great for storage the lantern in this box put it away so the manual you have not only the manual on the box you have the manual printed on the white paper with you as well so the smaller version is this one as I say I got me the orange version it has on top a nice uh, hanger it's uh, made out of steel nice secure attached in the, the plastic it's rubberized really nice so that is basically if you want to hang the lantern like this or uh, stand it that it won't uh, roll away like that on the other side on the bottom we have this device here so we can hang it too that's the so far the only point I figured out that I uh, don't like too much uh, this part here for sure will work and as long as it's in here it's protected but uh, you know that is uh, for emergencies and the uh, bad situation and this part here should be made out of metal as well because it's it's a uh, plastic it's a uh, yeah a little bit on the fragile side for me for my personal use so I hope they gonna upgrade that that one a bit now to put it on it's completely simple you have the button in front of it you press and then it's on on full brightness off if you push it on and double click then it goes to low basically you need to click it a bit fast and then we have the SOS mode on this one so it's basically all about this this button now this is the lantern mode you can twist it and then the head piece comes apart that uh, allow you to use this as a flashlight of course there is no reflector in it that's maybe another point that would be nice if there would be a bit uh, silver uh, aluminum reflector build around the LED to more more uh, focus it up because basically the light goes up in here and then through this round part here the light is uh, divided into uh, the side so it comes out on the side so maybe that that would uh, help a bit get uh, the most out of the brightness as well if we had a, a little bit of reflector but uh, it's it's durable made and uh, for use as a flashlight basically we hold it like that we just use it like this uh, the beam of light is of course really wide because we don't have a reflector that that they uh, gonna gonna point it forward so so we see already on the the short distance to my hand it goes wide really wide so it it's not a drawer it's gonna gonna light up the the uh, the forest or the the people uh, in about 50 meters distance that's not uh, the design it's basically like a, like a headlight that you use uh, say say around the, the tent or in the in the house if you have a have no electric uh, power so for for shorter distance i say up to five six seven meters that gives you plenty of light to to uh, see what's going on and therefore uh, for a uh, more than that you need a, a real flashlight with a with a reflector in it that it 
throws the light forward and not not too much sideways so that much about that I think it's a great feature uh, it's pretty durable made that is a uh, even a uh, O sealed too so it just goes on like that it's a twisting motion really easy and uh, the upper part is rubberized the lower part is rubberized so so uh, that saleswoman did a great job by by dropping it on the floor and it's it's pretty pretty uh, durable that's great about that for a uh, change the batteries the lower part needs to be twisted then it comes off and here I used rechargeable AA batteries it uh, you see how it's made and there we have here the arrow on the cap and here the arrow so that means that basically it's that rim here that needs to go in that slot there so that's a bit of problem some people uh, may uh, struggle I don't know why exactly they they did that quite likely to align the, the points here but uh, yeah older people or people that that don't see too well or or uh, are not that used with with uh, survival and and uh, all that they may have a bit of problem with that also the plastic is a uh, black you uh, it's a sticker I just hope the sticker stays on pretty well but if the sticker is gone then the people would uh, have a bit trouble to figure out how it works if they are not used to uh, to uh, things like that so so maybe if the plastic here would be in a and here would be in a lighter color in a white or in a in a cream color or something that you at least see a bit better inside how it is then then uh, that would help out the uh, Two. so basically what we do is align the arrows I need to look a bit around the camera like this it's in then we just push it and press it and then it's back on so that that much about this that's the, the small uh, version we see the comparison of the, the big one the, the bigger one is pretty bigger than the, the small one but that is designed for 30 days so I put the small one aside and uh, we see already it fills your hand is is uh, the size and the, the white is on the on the website and on the description we see the, the blinking that we uh, see where the light is system is the same we have on top the rubberized handle metal here we have rubberized on the bottom the same hanger same way it comes out the battery system is uh, exactly the same with the arrow here we have the D cells yeah here at least there is a bit of a, a sticker because it's bigger uh, align arrows to close I'm gonna do that quick you just need to to get the point where it goes and then you twist it and then it locks no problem and uh, the button is the same we see the full power on and off now we need to press a bit uh, faster that is full that is medium yeah that is low so it uh, is just with the uh, with the pressing button here how you how you press it is is pretty pretty uh, simple and basic now the the top goes off exactly the same too we have the the rubber o ceiling it's a, a good thing both lanterns are the same construction so once you get used with one you uh, know how to use the other one as well here we see it has three LEDs and no reflector either the heatsink is a uh, metal is pretty pretty impressive we see the the ribs so that's that uh, could be improved by a bit of a reflector 
even for three uh, LEDs, they make uh, reflectors that that uh, would would point it up a bit. So you can use this as a as a flashlight as well. Again, it's pretty wide uh, beam how it is. So yeah, different uses. It goes back on in a simple snapping twisting motion just make sure it snaps into place that much about uh, the 30 days uh, variant this one is in silver uh, to close the video we will have a look quick on uh, the box it's a nice nice uh, sturdy uh, box for the uh, storage too it uh, shows you the, the manual how to uh, take off the head yeah it even have a has a SOS mode in it uh, it shows you the operating instructions It's just a, a multi press button that's all what it is so it's really simple simple to uh, to use yeah that much about the uh, Pico lanterns I'm gonna test it out a bit more in the in the future uh, next to flashlights uh, everybody should have a bit of lantern too because if you get out of, of uh, electric power or uh, if you go camping or any other outdoor activity uh, with uh, the batteries and the LEDs that those devices use that need so little electric power and uh, the bulb not gonna break so so it's absolute great for uh, outdoor use other than, than uh, the, the full traditional uh, liquid full lanterns.